party. All right, so, so here we go. Good morning, I'm Miss Fran from Reed Memorial Library, and I want to welcome you to Preschool Storytime. We have some really fun things to do this morning. Would you help me by singing our opening song? Do you know it? If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. Now we were talking just a little bit before we started recording about what holiday is coming up this weekend. And I'm gonna give you a hint. So you're gonna to have to say a really scary sound like ooh. Okay, so if you'd like to read a book, sound real scary, ooh. If you'd like to read a book, sound real scary, ooh. Boy, you guys sound scary. If you'd like to read a book, Come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, sound real scary. Ooh, okay. All right, so get ready. Here we go. If you'd like to read a book, say boo, boo. Did I scare you? If you'd like to read a book, say boo, boo. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, say boo, boo. Good job. All right, now who knows what holiday is coming up this weekend? Halloween, where we dress up and sometimes we go trick-or-treating, sometimes we get candy. So that sounds like a lot of fun to me. So we're gonna be doing some stories today that have to do with Halloween. Ooh. Oh, by the way, did you see, did you see someone, someone left me a box. Did you see this? It came in the mail. Can you get a close up? Look, it says mouse mail. It says from Miss Mousy out in the country field to Miss Fran Reed Memorial Library. Wait a second, what in the world is mouse mail? Hmm, I'm gonna put it down on the table here. Maybe we should open it. Maybe it was for us for story time. Oh, look, there's a little door. Hmm, hey, let me out, let me out. Let me out. I can't get out, oh, oh, wow, who is this? Oh, I miss Mousy from out in the country field. And I mailed myself to you. You mailed yourself all the way to the library from the field? Well, yeah, I heard that you were reading stories about mousies. And I'm a mousie and I like stories about mousies. Oh, don't you make up stories of your own? No, we don't know how to do stories. Here, I gotta come out. I gotta come out the back door. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Can I stay and listen to your stories about mousies? Okay, is that okay with you guys if she stays and listens to the stories about mousies? Is that okay? You know how I know it's a girl? Yeah, because my name is Miss Mousie. No, because you have a bow on your tail. Oh, well, I try to keep my tail decorated so everybody knows that I'm Miss Mousie from the country field. All right, well, Miss Mousie, why don't you kind of make yourself at home here because we're glad you came. And if you can kind of look up through your hole and maybe you could watch because we have a story that would be hmm, pretty scary for a mousy. Here, can you come up through your hole, through your door, and watch? Okay, I'm ready. All right. Let's turn her so she can see. The first book that we're going to do this morning is called Mouse Look Out. Do you know what kind of things a mouse would have to look out for? What do you see in the picture? Oh, a cat maybe? Why do you think a mouse would have to look out for a cat? Cats try to get mice. They like to eat mice. And do you know anybody else that likes to eat mice? Owls, hawks. 
Stop talking about that. You're making me scared. All right. Let's open the book. This is by Judy Waite, and the illustrations are by Norma Burgeon. Mouse, look out. There's an old, old house that's all empty. I wonder why it's all empty. Look who's there. Here, mouse, look out. The gate no one opened was rusted and old. When the wind blew against it, the hinges creaked and moaned. And tucked among the cracks of the ivy-covered wall, a little mouse was peeping. The sign says, danger, keep out. Then silent as the sunset, a shadow came creeping. Whose shadow is that? A cat, right. And look over here. Who do you think that might be? There's eyes peeping out from underneath the leaves. Mouse could be an owl. I like that idea. Mouse, look out. There's a cat about. Oh, he's hiding. The door no one knocked on was battered and scratched. When the wind came calling, it pounded, banged, and bashed. And through the broken wood, so ragged and jagged, a little mouse was crawling. Then down the tangled path, a shadow came prowling. <gasps> mouse, look out! There's a cat about. Can you say that with me? Mouse, look out! There's a cat about. Okay, can you say that with me when we come to that part in the book? Because that's an important part. We need to warn that little mouse. The hallway no one stood in was dusty, damp, and dark. When the wind came racing, cobweb curtains pulled apart. And across the tattered carpet of frayed and faded patterns, a little mouse was scurrying. Then softly through the door, a shadow came hurrying. You ready to say it? Mouse, look out. There's a cat about. Right, good job. Where is that mouse? Can you see him? He's hiding. Look at his tail. Can you see his tail? He's hiding in that old shoe. The cat and the owl are both looking for him. Uh-oh. The kitchen no one cooked in was grubby, grim, and gray. When the wind wailed through, it swept the leaves and sticks away. Look at all the broken plates on the floor. And look, the mouse. Where's the owl? Right there? Did you see him? Good eye, good eye. Look at the mouse is looking in the kettle and he sees his reflection and round the piles of pots and in the long forgotten cupboards a little mouse was searching then slowly down the hallway a shadow came lurking you ready let's help the mouse mouse look out there's a cat about very good there he comes uh-oh. Oh, can you see where the mouse is hiding? You see his tail right there? He's hiding in that broom. The staircase no one used stretched upward in the gloom. When the wind came climbing, its soft breath lingered in the room. And up the giant steps, with scrabbling and scratchlings, a little mouse was struggling, was trying to get up those steps. Then slinking up behind, a shadow came lunging. <gasps> Let's warn the mouse, say it again. Mouse, look out, there's a cat about. Can you see the teeny mouse's tail right there? 
He's running into the other room. There's the owl's eyes peeking. <clears throat> the bed no one slept in was jumbled up with junk. But the wind had left the house, and the room seemed warm and snug. And in among the mess, inside the torn, worn mattress, a little mouse was sleeping. Can you see him? Then through the quiet room, something came leaping. <gasps> Cat, look out! There's a dog about! The change, didn't it? First it was mouse look out, but this one was cat. Look out. How does that cat feel about the dog? Is the cat happy to see the dog? No, he's scared. He's hissing. He's going, Sss. Does the mouse even hear them? That mouse is still sleeping. And look what happened. The dog is chasing the cat away and the owl is flying away, and I think our mouse is safe, yay! That's a good book. Mouse, look out. Was that a good finger play, you think? Or good, I'm sorry, was that a good book? Looks like the mouse is kind of scared. She's trembling. Don't be afraid, it was just a book. It can't really hurt you. We have a finger play about a mousy. And this is a finger play because you do it with your fingers. So take your one finger and put it up like this. Okay, this is the mouse. Hello, I'm a little mouse. <clears throat> and here is the mouse's little hole. Okay, so it goes like this. It says, here is a little mousy peeking through the hole. Good job, peek to the left. Peek to the right. Now pull your head back in. There's a cat in sight. Oh no! All right, Miss Mousy, you want to help us? Can you do the finger play with us? Okay. All right, you guys do it with us. Here's your mousy. All right, here's your hole. Here is a little mousy. I am a little mousy. And I'm going to look through the hole. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm going to look to the left. I'm going to look to the right. <gasps> Pull my head back in. There's a cat in sight. There, you did it. Good job. You saved her. There. Okay, we got some more things to do here. We'll set her up so she can still see out her door. All right. This book is an interesting book. Can you look at this book cover and tell me what this is supposed to be? A cat. How do you know it's a cat? It doesn't exactly, go ahead. How do you know it's a cat? Whiskers, teeth, and eyes. And look how the hair looks kind of jaggedy. A real cat doesn't look exactly like that, does it? The, the lady that wrote this book, Lois Ellert, she likes to make collages where she takes pieces of paper, strings, and like here's pumpkin seeds, probably from when she carved her pumpkin for Halloween. And she made the teeth out of pumpkin seeds. That's called a collage where you take lots of different things and you glue them together and make something. Yeah, look as a cherry for a nose. Very good, good eye. So I really like her books because I like collage. And you'll have to watch, look on the back of the cover, there's a, what is this? Can you tell what that's, a, it's supposed to be a mouse. Does that look like a real mouse? Not exactly, but we know it's a mouse because why? It's got big ears, it's got kind of a pointy nose. A tail. What is that mouse doing? It looks like he's throwing something at the cat. Hmm. All right, so we're going to have to kind of watch and see what happens in here. 
This book is called Boo to You by Lois Ellert. Boo to You. This sign says pumpkins, and it looks like there's seeds and a trowel. Someone's been digging up maybe something about pumpkins. I don't know. That scary cat's back. Boy, what a bummer. Look, there's the cat's tail. He's heading out. What are the mice doing, do you think? Yeah, he's trying to scare the cat. Look, this one looks frightened. Got his eyes covered. They're standing on a pumpkin. That scary cat's back. Boy, what a bummer. Seeing that puss could spoil our summer. A raccoon or a squirrel might bite a veggie. They're in the vegetable garden, aren't they? You can see the vines. They're playing with some of the, those look like cherries or tomatoes. There's a raccoon's tail. They might bite a veggie, but a cat loves meat. And that makes us edgy. What does it mean if you're feeling edgy? Do you know what that means? It means you're a little bit scared, you're a little bit frightened, because they are meat and they might get eaten by the cat. Look at the funny bird up here. Miss Ellert made him out of a, a squash and a carrot for a tail. We're having a harvest party tonight. Uh-oh, look at those teeth. Guess who's the guy we didn't invite? Who do you think they did not invite to the harvest party? Mm, the cat, right. There goes the cat. He's running. What was that? Got it. In the dark, these decorations sure look great. Look, they made a pumpkin with some Indian corn coming out the ears. But we can't party yet. We have to wait. Look, they're sticking broccoli in this pumpkin. He's got a gourd for his nose. Is it watermelon? It could be. Then the house lights flick off. It's a spooky mood. He's looking. What are they? Yeah, the corn is his nose. Those are great decorations, aren't they? Let's put on our masks and harvest some food. You see the mice put on their little masks. And now they're eating all this good food. And look, I think this is a squirrel. And he's got a mask on too. He must have been invited. Just as we're about to dine, that cat peeks out from behind a vine. <gasps> oh no! But we know exactly what to do. We'll scare that scary cat. This is gonna get really big. So we might have to go from one end to the other. Whoop. There's the scary cat, and here, are, look what they're doing. They're getting ready with all kinds of food, and they're going to throw it at the cat. Boo to you! And here they go. They're throwing broccoli and little things, broccoli and seeds and all kinds of things. And look at the cat. How does he look? Is he... He looks scared, doesn't he? Those little mice have scared him away. Scat, you scary cat. Have some broccoli. There's no mouse on the menu at this party. And there they are eating all their mouse food and the cat has been scared away. Brave mice. And this last page in here is a picture of jack-o'-lanterns look like all different kinds of jack-o'-lanterns that have been made out of beautiful bright orange pumpkins. And look, here's a little girl in a jack-o'-lantern costume. 
I like that book. I like Lois Ellert's books. We're going to read one next week, too. All right. All right, let's everybody stand up. We're going to sing a song, do some actions. It's called I'm a Little Pumpkin. And it goes like this. I'm a little pumpkin, short and fat. I'm going to be a jack-o'-lantern. How about that? Just carve me out a mouth and nose and eyes and light me up on Halloween night. Can you clip your fingers? Can you click them? Light, like a little match. Light me up on Halloween night. Okay, let's do it together one more time. I'm a little pumpkin, short and fat. I'm going to be a jack-o'-lantern. How about that? Just carve me out a mouth and nose and eyes and light me up on Halloween night. Good job. Good singing. Woo. I have one more book that I want to show you. This one's a really short one. There's not really a story. It's called All Mixed Up. When you open it to the first page, well, I should tell you, it's by Keys Morbeek. Sorry, I didn't tell you that. And look what's in there. Oh, she looks nasty. Oh, and she loves her black cat. Oh. And then when you turn the page, look what's in here. It's a fire-breathing dragon. But this is a mixed up book. You can turn part of the page without turning the rest. Oh, it's a troll mixed up with a dragon. Oh, except for now we can make him into a troll. Hello, my name is Troll. I like to eat the three billy goats gruff, but I live under a bridge and I eat green glop. Ooh. Oh, what is this? It's a frog, yeah. This is supposed to be the enchanted prince that's looking for a princess to kiss. He's not a very good kisser. I don't know if he's gonna be lucky or not. Oh, and here's someone that says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. But my best friend is a pig. Ha, ha, ha. Who's that supposed to be? The big, bad wolf, right? All right. Isn't that a fun book how you can kind of make them part? No, I'm part dragon and part wolf. I'm a, a woogan. Lots of fun things you can do with that one. Okay. So how are you feeling, Miss Mousy? Are you scared? No, I'm not scared anymore. I, I feel a lot better now. Um, can I stay? Are you gonna do more mouse stories? That's why I came, you know. Well, we're probably gonna do some next week. Would you like me to pick out a mouse book for next week? Uh-huh, I do. I really like mouse stories. I can't stay too long because you know it's fall and I gotta get a lot of corn and acorns all saved up, but I would like to listen to more mouse stories. <clears throat> okay, we could do another mouse story next week just for you. Okay, well, I'm gonna go in my house and I'm gonna wait in there and you tell me when it's time. I'll, I'll be doing some other things, okay? All right, that's fine. You go on down in there, I'll close your door. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what was in your uh, craft kit for today. I think we have someone who's already finished the craft and that's okay, that's good. So everybody got a black sheet of paper, and then you got a circle with a flat edge. So that might look like a pumpkin. And let's see, you have all different kinds of shapes, and I hope that you can name the shapes. Plus you have a couple pieces of paper that you can use your scissors with and cut it to be whatever shape you need. If I didn't put in a shape that you needed. So I wanted this shape, which is part of a circle, 
looks kind of like a triangle. I wanted that to be my nose. And then you could choose, you could choose this for a mouth, or you could choose this for a mouth, or you could make a different kind of a mouth. You could make it out of triangles, or you could make a mouth and put some teeth in it. You did, and it looks great. You did a great job. And so maybe this could be, this could be the stem. Oops, I dropped a peeper. This could be the stem, or maybe you could make another piece be the stem. Maybe he has a stem that looks like that. Maybe these could be his eyes, triangles for eyes, or circles. So this is your collage. Remember how, remember how um, Lois Ellert took paper and she made a collage. And this can be your pumpkin collage. Very, very nice. That is a very nice pumpkin collage that you finished there. So that is, your, we're gonna do some things next week with shapes and collage too. All right, so will you, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys coming today. In fact, I'd like to sing a song about that. Will you help me? We're gonna sing our goodbye song, and it goes, I'm glad you came today, because I really am. So here we go, sing with me. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. Let's do it one more time. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. You guys have a happy Halloween. See you soon.